why we are studying it and what we are studying gentlemen today we are studying about the calibration and why we are studying it because uh, after this lesson student would be able to understand that why the calibration is required for different kind of equipment and what is the importance of calibration consequences of using a non calibrated tool there could be a serious kind of consequences if we are using an uncalibrated tool and aviation business now what is calibration how it could be defined as gentlemen calibration is defined as the process of adjusting the output or indication on a measurement instrument to agree with value of the applied standard within a specified accuracy means to say that you are having a standard and you make the other equipment yeah, or you make the other instruments or tools or anything which has to be calibrated to make it like a standard the second reason could be for the vast majority of calibrations the calibration process is actually the comparison of an unknown to a known and recording the result means to say you are having a standardized kind of uh, equipment and you make the other just like the standard one so this is called as the calibration now calibration is required for the for many reasons out of these many reasons uh, calibration could be of the following reasons that could be if you are having a new instrument you need to have you need to do a calibration if you are having an instrument which is repaired or modified by someone so that instrument needs to be calibrated now when a specified time period has elapsed you are having an equipment and the uh, manufacturer has provided that uh, instrument to be calibrated after a certain period of time and that period has elapsed then you have to do the calibration of that equipment now if if the operating hours of that uh, specified equipment has elapsed then you have to do the calibration of that equipment before and after a critical measurement you have taken the measurement but that that measurement was too critical for your instru for your uh, for your equipment or for your system then you need to do the calibration of that instrument or tool again and again after an event a shock or a physical damage there are many equipment related to the aviation which which could be a different kind of shocks and physical damage during its operation so after that physical damage or the shock you need to do the calibration of that equipment students calibrate calibration take place for the standards specified by the equipment manufacturer design organization and are the appropriate national international standards for example army national army navy military standards a and ms standards stands for the army navy or military standards so every manufacturer who produce certain kind of equipment or the certain kind of instruments or certain kind of tools they provide us specified standard that you need to do the calibration of that particular equipment after a specified time so you need to follow their manufacturer's uh, specifications secondly the appropriate standards are used to achieve consistency between measurement made in different locations possibly using alternate measuring techniques for example we are having the two uh, as uh, as i have shown that uh, we are having the digital kind of micrometer that micrometer is used for the specified kind of uh, measurement accurate kind of measurement so that micrometer digital micrometer need to be calibrated after a certain period of time and in second second picture we are having a vernier caliper that is a digital vernier caliper so that digital vernier caliper needs to be calibrated after a certain period of time why because that calibration would make it a standard uh, standard for measuring a standard kind of measurement now if 
we are doing a calibration of certain uh, equipment we need to have a record now what kind of record of calibration what kind of uh, calibration records are there and how we kept this uh, this record this we are going to study now a written record is kept for all tools that require calibration detailing when last done when next due and the requirement of the calibration for this purpose we attach a sticker a sticker is attached to the tool detailing the due date of the next calibration there could be a many kind of uh, many kind of stickers but that sticker would indicate that how you had have you how when you did the calibration and when the next date is due for this calibration again this should always be checked before use and no tool should be used if it is without of calibration out of calibration any appliances whose serviceability is in doubt should be removed from the service and labeled accordingly means to say that if you think that that particular equipment is uh, not having the serviceability or serviceability tag or the calibrated tag means to say that a calibrate calibration tag a calibration sticker would indicate the serviceability status of that equipment now for the purpose of recording the calibration record we we use different kind of uh, uh, hard hard papers but at the same time we use different kind of databases in the database we would put the record achieved during the calibration and we uh, after a certain period of time we would and we could use it for the for many times no if we are maintaining a calibration record certificates what it should contain gentlemen brothers and sisters following information should be uh, should be there in the calibration record certificates identification of equipment identification of equipment that what is that equipment what is the identification of that tool type for example here we are using the tool type now the standard used standard you what kind of standard you are using for that particular equipment thirdly results of paint these could be the results these could be the result these could be the result or the assigned um, uncertainty of measurement uncertainty of measurement if you find certain kind of ambiguities during the calibration you would mention that uh, or you would mention that calibration uh, uncertainty in your record assigned calibration interval now we have we are having the assigned calibration interval that the next 30 days of the next 60 days after one year or so and so that should be mentioned in that record limits of permissible errors there could be some tolerance should be there some permissible errors should be allowed if that is being allowed by the manufacturer then you could also allow that these kinds of errors uh, if it is allowed by the manufacturer and it should be contained in the documents related to that particular uh, calibration in the authority under which the release document was issued that should be also available any limitation in the use of the equipment date and which each calibration was conducted these all are the information which should be available in the records or the certificates related to the calibration now coming towards this that what kind of workmanship standards are it, uh, what standards of workmanship and what why these standards are required we need to we need to have in our minds that why we are doing such kind of workmanship uh, to do better and better and achieve a good standards gentlemen in aviation the highest standard of workmanship are practiced because you are working on a very sophisticated and standardized kind of equipment so you need to have a highest standards of workmanship now any error for any reasons could result in the loss of human life you know that if a boeing 777 is you are working on a boeing 777 and that is containing th almost 300 passengers and you made a mistake that could result a fatal kind of incident and that fatal incident could take many many humans life 
Now, manufacturer's instructions are mandatory to bring about the best result in maintenance. Deviation from these procedures requires approval. You can't do anything on your own. You need to have permissions from the manufacturers. You need to permission from the different kind of TOs are available which could permit you to do any kind of things related to the maintenance. Maintenance actions that do not achieve specified measurable values within limits cause the aircraft to remain an unknown.